Hello everyone, welcome back to Silver Tears Tarot and welcome to a reading about the nature of this relationship and I have to tell you that comes from uh, several reasons, okay? So just a several times yesterday in that reading that we were doing about um, the lessons that your person has been learning and them trying to maybe test some of those out, one of the things that came into my mind several times was the nature of your relationship and kind of where you are with that right now. So I think we've seen a lot about the nature of the relationship, um, but it feels like it's time to maybe take a look at just kind of what's happening with that right now. Um, so this is going to be a general reading for this collective. If it resonates with you, um, maybe think about looking at some of the other messages within the collective. Um, and just kind of see if anything else works for you as well. I know that people will feel like they kind of come in and out of it, um, but they're all very much connected messages. So let's go ahead and get started. I think this will be my secondary deck. We're looking at the nature of the relationship, but what we want to look at first is kind of what is happening, what's floating in the air um, between the two of you. What is the energy that you guys are being impacted by? Okay, so a lack of balance. We've got the Libra card in reverse. Um, that's about balance. You can see the scales. Um, now, hold on a second. We've got a couple of cards that came out with that. So we'll have the Four of Swords and the Earth. Um, the Earth card talks about there being a, it's got this kind of Garden of Eden feel to it, first and last. Um, there's a, a, it feels like a very forever sort of feel with this earth card, but it's also, so it's the beginning and ending, very first and last, um, the alpha and the omega. The four of swords here talks about a place of healing, and we also see here with the Libra card in reverse, a sense of instability or unrest, um, so these are all things that are happening in the energy between you right now, but these are things that are coming to the fore. You may have more um, than this in your, in your energy, but these are things that are coming to the fore right now. So the healing and the purposes of around the healing, I feel like that's um, part of what comes out with that four of swords. You have a seven of swords in the reverse because... Um, it talks about progress and the fact that the the way this felt the last time um, you were interacting with one another, the way that uh, when you were interacting with each other or when you were at your best, is very different from the way that they feel like you are now and the very different from the way they are now. Um, I also feel a growing sense of instability between the two of you. But it's not necessarily that the two of you are becoming less stable. It's more that you are requiring less external stability in order to make, um, to get by. You know, you guys have a, a very strong um, spiritual bond that seems to be making all the difference here. And so even when things are not necessarily working out for you in the physical, um, the spiritual bond is still very much with you. You've got the fool in the upright and the seven of cups in the reverse. So this is a sense of a readiness to move, but not sure which direction to move. Um, this is maybe going to be a kind of a pervasive feeling between the two of you. So what it comes out to be is just kind of this buzzing, this back and forth energy that doesn't seem to, it doesn't gain enough form to even, like this is a very misty, foggy Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups talks about options, but there's a lot of nebulous nature to these options. Um, it doesn't really materialize into anything clear at this time. And that's part of why, you know, for those of you who are looking for something a little more certain, um, this is this is probably, you know, kind of a difficult sort of energy. We also have the Ace of Wands here, which is all about creation of a new beginning and almost like it happening even without your... Um, even without you guys saying it's okay for this to move forward, it's like a, it's what the words that want to come out are like an uncontrollable thrust. 
Um, the high, the high priestess though, here in the reverse is talking about the fear that comes with it. So there's information or awareness coming to both of you. And we've seen that in some of the readings and it can be a little bit scary, honestly, um, feels like it may be being a little bit scary to be perfectly honest. Um, but you're also, and this card reiterates it, not the same people that you were when, um, when the, when you last were at your best, when you last had your most meaningful, when you had your most meaningful connection, um, things were different between you and even within each of you than they are now. There is this sense of, like I was saying, that uncontro uncontrollable thrust of energy in your direction. Um, and yet this feeling of a misty, uncertain, nebulous um movement or need for movement but not necessarily a lot of clarity which way it should go and so that's a, when you know we've talked about some of the pressure building up this is that pressure building up and this is kind of what it looks like and it's how it feels um let's look into it a little bit more and just kind of understand what's happening with you guys right now because i know um, we did a reading on dreams here recently and i have received a ton of notes around the dreams and Sometimes um, in your dreams, it feels like what you're evaluating is really that nature of the relationship. So things will happen in the dreams and you'll be left saying, what did that mean? Like, what was the, and definitely I've gotten that question from some of you, you know, the, what did, what exactly did that dream mean? Um, it's going to be a little different for each of you, honestly, but it's, it all seems to come down to that same feeling of having to move forward that uncontrollable thrust of energy because it's this is supposed to be um, a shared energy between you and it is very much shared so a lot of times what you'll see come out there it'll be shared energy but it'll be very heavy on one or the other of you this one feels very shared you both um, even if you have been able to shake this energy a lot in the past you may have a hard time shaking it now Page of Swords um, gives us, again, um, that sense of the Fool energy, wanting to move into something that is new. Both of you, in individually, when I read for you um, in different contexts, have been getting that Fool energy and moving into something new. But what's interesting is, I think yesterday some energy came out that was kind of a, this is not a new quest. It's, it's just that, you know, moving farther into uncharted territory. Okay, so we have the Knight of Wands here in the reverse. Part of what you're likely to see here is some of that continued unhealed behavior. Um, that could be coming from either of you, but it feels like it's heavy in their energy right now. Um, unhealed behavior because they there is a there's like a limit to the amount of transformation and healing your person feels like they can take on right now. And, and it feels like they're continuously being hit with even more and being asked to, um, this is more of that fool energy kind of with the, um, with the page of swords, it contains some of that. And then that was the Columbo card. It was an honorable mention, but it came out to just kind of punctuate. That is all over this. There's a, forward intensity that seems like it's just very prominent right now and yet um, there's a lot of doing they're doing a lot to be able to fight against that energy um, okay so we've got the eight of wands there is definitely the ability to stay um, standing in one place and it is it's that's something that they are definitely trying to exercise because it feels like the safest thing for them to do because the nature of this relationship has everything to do with learning lessons moving into new spaces moving into and trying on some lessons and in this case it's about self-worth it's a big piece for both of you both of you um, manifest a little bit differently and it's the flip side of that lesson that you're both learning that has to do with um you know the the big three the the feelings around rejection the fears around rejection and abandonment and betrayal you've got the world in the reverse here suggesting that you're not done yet there's energy between the two of you that is not yet resolved and with the queen of pentacles here the place that you have to go to resolve that is very very real it feels very very real and it does not tolerate speedy um 
responses that are poorly thought out. So with the Queen of Swords in the reverse here, um, it's got a little bit of that imbalanced Queen of Swords energy where there's a tendency to want to cut and run, okay? There's a little bit of that in there, and I feel like that shows up a little bit for both of you. But part of the lesson that both of you are learning, and hence why it's showing up in this reading, part of the reason or part of the um, the nature of the relationship, it feels like there's some focus here on the things where, you, the places where your lessons overlap. So the lessons of the big three, the moving into a place of greater self-worth. So your role in moving into a greater place of self-worth may look um, may look like you're making more progress on that, but this should not discount the progress that your person is also being asked to make in this in this situation it's the you know the fear of what if they don't like me that comes out um incredibly strongly and in different forms so you've got the chariot here <laughs> one of the things that i would definitely say and we see it a lot about this relationship about this bond is that the two of you would not necessarily want to attack the lessons that come in through this um, ordinarily. These are very uncomfortable lessons for you in a lot of cases. And so you would be less inclined to jump into these things. Um, but you're more inclined to do so because the other one is here. You have a hard time um, ignoring it, walking away from it, forgetting about it, shutting the energy off. Some of you have tried to do... Um, you know, a cutting of the cords and have found it either very difficult or even problematic. I know that sometimes it creates uh, physical issues. So there's a need for communication between the two of you, which is why um, there keeps feeling such a drive toward communication, whether it happens or not. Sometimes it's like you can feel it in the energy, but you don't receive the communication, but you already know. Um, <clears throat> with the Prince of Wands, though, and it's got some of that same Knight of Wands in the reverse. This Prince of Wands is kind of that same energy. Um, with the Prince of Wands here, it's it's got a little bit of an overlap that moves from not just the in and out energy that we see with that Knight of Wands, but also moving a little bit into the fear that keeps it there. Or, you know what, I think I'm feeling the bleeding over of the Knight of Swords with regard to that fear that keeps it there. And the Prince of Wands is more of that kind of pillow that feels like it's being held over their emotional head, which sounds super violent and scary. I don't, I mean, it's not like it keeps them from breathing, but it does keep them from functioning from... Um, they never learn to really function because of a fear. It's like the song that I put out on um, social media a couple days ago is an old song. It comes from the 1970s, 80s. I don't know. It was Bette Midler. I was little. Um, the, it's the song, The Rose. And so I went back, like somebody reminded me of it in the, in, I did a personal reading and it reminded me and I know every word to that song and I have like all my life. And so it was kind of going through my head and it kind of still is a little bit. This is that, um, that, that person that never learns to live, you know, and it's, it's a shame. Um, but you know, even when you hear the song, there isn't really anything that you can do to force somebody from the position where they are into a better position um, or a different position because they have a tendency to really kind of push back. Um, okay, here's that seven of one. So you guys may have seen this. It was just there. And I thought, no, I don't think it's part of this. And I flipped it back over. Um, and so what I love about this is sometimes I'll get the, yeah, it is actually for this part of the reading. And then I'm, I'm happy to take it. I just, I know, I, I feel, I love that I can trust the right card to come up, even if I can still make mistakes sometimes, you know, I just, I love that. Um, so anyway, with the seven of wands, um, there's this feeling of, it reminds me a little bit of the chariot over here. It, but so here's the thing with the chariot, they have to move forward and you have to move forward. And that's the nature of this relationship. You guys are kind of being, you're playing hardball with your collective selves because you're forcing yourself to learn some very unsavory and difficult lessons, but you also are imbuing yourselves um, with the energy to allow that to happen and to be successful. Um, with the Nine of Wands, though, because of the nature of the lessons and even the nature of the relationship that you're in to learn these, 
you have to trigger each other. Um, okay, so there's this, and that's where we stop. We have to, the, the King of Pentacles is an honorable mention, but I have to put it back. Um, so I'm going to keep it right there. So here's the thing. This is not a comfortable lesson that you are here to teach one another. There is going to be resistance. There is going to be a need for the two of you to trigger one another. And in this case, it's about not having that equal emotional give and take or realizing on their side they are incapable of having that emotional give and take. With the Ace of Swords, it's a feeling of realizing that you've not been completely honest with yourselves, both of you. Um, but here's the thing. Both of you stand to resolve this so completely that there is no reason to feel a ton of shame or difficulty over it. But that does not stop your person from doing that anyway. Um, I, I think most of the shame that I feel on your side is about why do I keep chasing this person? Why can I not get past it? Um, and it has a lot to do with well, both the reason that you're chasing and the reason that they're running has a lot to do with the um, King and Queen of Pentacles energy. And with the King of Pentacles, it's do I deserve this, you know, um, which is closely aligned with am I worthy of those are two separate things, but they're very much connected in that Pentacles um earth energy. So what we see here is a whole lot of inciting one another and then, you know, kind of standing by while the lessons are learned. Um, I want to look a little bit more deeply into this. So when we get into the extended, we're going to do an extended on this one. Um, we'll look a little bit more deeply into kind of what you need to know. We're going to go into where your focus is right here um, when we get into this side, um, this third question over here. But let's get into when we get into the extended, like what you need to know about this and what this really is supposed to. Well, you know what? We'll we'll separate it into you and them. And it's what do you need to know? What do they need to know? Slash do. Um, so first, let's look at kind of where your focus needs to be at this time. So this is where you can be focusing, given what's on the table here. And knowing that this is a really just a challenging place to be because it doesn't move quickly. You have to, you get held in these very uncomfortable places. Okay, so we have the Hercules card. Hercules card is all about strength, but it's all about strength overcoming fear. Oh, we've got more than the usual. Let's see what we've got. I feel like something else. Yeah came out over here so we also have the ace of pentacles Ooh, okay this one came up in a reading um i don't know a couple three days ago it was about you getting a a bit of a feel for kind of what your person is going through because something wants your attention and you are not necessarily willing to give it um, you have a better perspective overall, kind of like this broader perspective that's being brought by your person right here. Um, but with the Seven of Swords, you're still really doubting yourself in some very crucial and critical ways. So these are messages that are just for you during this situation. Note that you are still sort of digging in, um, digging into yourself in some ways that are not helpful to you. There are ways that you need to be on your own side that for whatever reason, um, it's a boundary that hasn't been established in the right place, but you have like the perfect vantage to see it from. Uh, with this five of cups in the reverse, you have a great perspective. Um, ooh, and you have the ace of cups. Okay, so th this is beautiful, but it's not necessarily super comfortable. So you're getting a taste of this other person's medicine, and your first response may be to kind of just say, mm, I don't really have the bandwidth for this right now, and to shrink away from it. However, there is something about this that is very much fitting into your destiny and can't be ignored. So we have the Ace of Cups, we have the Star, we have the Nine of Swords. All right, with the Nine of Swords, it's all about not allowing yourself to overthink this, to talk yourself out of it. There's something that... Um, that you're going to kind of want to, you're going to rebuild some part of yourself, okay? I feel like this is, maybe it's where you spend the first few months of 2024. It's determining what you're rebuilding and rebuilding some part of yourself. But there's nothing speedy about this. This is like that advice that you have been getting repeatedly about how, um, you know, don't feel like you have to move quickly. Um, this is not moving quickly sort of energy, 
this is definitely figuring out what you don't have as far as um, what you feel like you lack in wisdom. And here's the thing. You've gained so much that figuring out what you lack in wisdom starts to become a little bit more pleasant. Not only because you get to start picking and choosing the direction you go, but also because the lessons don't feel so terrible. Um, with the Four of Cups, okay, so the Four of Cups, don't be too hard on yourself. Um, there's a tendency for you to want to be a little bit disappointed about what you have or haven't accomplished. I feel like this is an old habit and one that you could probably do well to get out of. Um, enabling yourself to come out of that and also enabling yourself to recognize that everybody's path looks a little bit different. Um, that the fact that you aren't where you want to be yet does not mean that you are behind um, from a time perspective. There is no time upon which you are supposed to be, like no timeline upon which you are supposed to be doing each of these things and learning each of these lessons. Every one is bonus and every lesson that you're learning at this point is not necessarily... Um, lessons that people make it through. Um, so you're doing some special things and you're being afforded the opportunity because of the nature of this particularly challenging relationship that makes you, force it forces you into dealing with some things, even though you really would probably rather not. Um, so here you have, again, that morning that this charisma that you possess and this ability to kind of talk your way in and out of things, um, like going to a psychologist and being able to talk such a good game that they think, oh, there's nothing wrong here. Like, watch it. Watch out for yourself because that's exactly the sort of thing that may give you the ability to, um, it may limit, it may give you the ability to get triggered and limit your emotion in a dangerous way. Something that you would not necessarily associate with yourself. So once again, watch out for that because it could create a bit of a lost opportunity. And it would be like you would remind yourself a little bit of your person when you do it. So just be aware there's some kind of energy in there, like an opportunity that you are going to have an opportunity to grab, but it really does. You have the opportunity to, to also veer off a different direction and have to come back around and learn this lesson again. So you're being given an opportunity at a lesson that is a beautiful, glowing, and, and enjoyable one, um, but you have to play it right. Otherwise, you'll end up having to take another pass. It's one, though, that you get to take another pass. So if you don't get everything perfect, like, don't get too upset about it. Um, do don't get under pressure about it. That's part of what you're learning here. So um, that's a little bit of a kind of a sneak preview on the lessons that you're getting. Um, we're going to get in a little bit more deeply on the nature of this relationship and the impacts on both of you. So we're going to separate you out and kind of look into that. That's where we'll start when we get into the extended. So thank you so much for being here with me. If you want to go into the extended, the link is down below. Um, and you know, I feel like this one got this, this one went as quickly and as smoothly as yesterday's didn't. So yesterday ended up with a lot longer of a reading and today I'm just like bada bing, bada boom. I feel like I'm, I don't mean to make them long or short. They just, um, are what they are. So we have to move into a little bit more of what this relationship means and what kind of impacts it has on both of you, though. I feel like that has to come out. And then I know we need to do a third party reading as well, um, because we have... Uh, a couple of you have asked about it and it has come up, you know, it, it's sitting there in the outskirts of the energy um, very much still at this point and in these most recent readings. So that's what we'll take a look at, I think, probably tomorrow. But here, if you want to go into the extended, we're going to look a little bit more into the impact on both of you of this relationship. So I hope to see you then or hopefully see you tomorrow.